Hey there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. All right, Carl, you got this. You've been doing it for years. You got this. Hi there, you little chicken nuggets. I'm so glad, to, uh, so glad you're here. You are definitely a sap for sore eyes. And believe me, I know everything about sore eyes. See? Ouch. There's no lenses. You see, for the past five weeks, I've been stuck in my home doing the uh, staycation thing. And that's a vacation where you stay at home. I tell you what, I've had a great time doing that. I mean, there's just something so great about being home, you know? Comfortable, cozy, it feels safe. The best part is, there's always a cheese stick within arm's reach. Well, today, today that's gonna change because this is the last day of my staycation. Yay, woo! Um, excuse me? I'm so excited for you, Cole. This is gonna be great. What are you talking about? My staycation's over, Jada. It's done, it's gone. Might as well be a magician because I just made it disappear. Oh, Carl, don't be upset about it. Not all good things can last forever, you know? Maybe you're right. I don't know, I just, I don't feel good about it. It's been a while since I've been out in the real world. I mean, what if it doesn't work out? I guess I'm just nervous. And that's okay to be nervous, Carl. In fact, perfectly fine to feel whatever you want. And it totally makes sense to me why you would be feeling that way. Really? Of course, I mean, look at Jacob and Esau. Jacob and Esau? That's not the best example. I mean, Jacob basically stole Esau's birthright. Esau's future blessing, ripped away by his own brother. I get why Esau was so angry with him. True, Jacob did something that wasn't kind to his twin brother, but there was a time after that, way after that, things began to change. How so? Well, this story comes from Genesis chapter 32, and a lot of time had passed since the whole birthright scenario. Jacob and Esau had both gotten married and had kids. They were living their own lives without each other. But one day, Jacob heard that Esau wanted to meet with him. And that made Jacob also very nervous. Oh boy. So Jacob had this idea to send large gifts to Esau so they would get to him first before the meeting and hopefully help Esau not be so upset with them. That is a bold move. It was, but Jacob knew he had hurt his brother's feelings and that he might even want to hurt him. So Jacob did a very smart thing. He prayed to God. He asked God to protect him from his brother's anger, but was quickly reminded about the dream God had shown him. God promised to give the land to him and his family. So Jacob felt assured God would take care of them, and he began to travel to see his brother. Oh, wow. I'm nervous for him. What happened next? Jacob had traveled to get to Esau, and when they saw each other, something truly extraordinary happened. Spaceship came down and dropped a flying cow with a mustache. <laughs> well, not that type of extraordinary. Oh, so what then? Well, when Esau saw Jacob, he began to run at him. Oh no, is he gonna hurt him? When Esau got to Jacob, he took his arms and swung them around his brother. I knew it. Esau wrestled Jacob to the ground, didn't he? Oh, no, 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 Carl. Esau hugged him. What? Wait, hold. Oh. He hugged him? He sure did. Esau was so happy to see his brother after all this time. Jacob got to meet his twin's family and was overwhelmed with joy. This is great. All that worrying for nothing. Totally. A lot of the time our minds like to make things a bigger deal than what they truly are, but we often forget just how great God is and how God can change the hearts of the people we love. Wow, you're totally right. I bet you they felt great now that they had the connected, they're, they're now, they're peaceful. They're, both of them are peaceful together. Absolutely. God encourages us to make peace with others whenever we are having trouble. I mean, why live with worry, hatred, or anger in our hearts when God never intended it to be that way? Hmm. I guess that answers it then. Answers what? It's definitely time for me to leave. I gotta get out of this house. Well, what makes you so sure now? Well, God doesn't call me just to stay home all the time. There's peace to be made, people to hug, and laughs to be shared. <laughs> I think I've forgotten what the sun looks like. I think it's purple. Purple. <laughs> Final answer, Regis. Purple sun. Well, I'm glad you realized what you need to do, Carl. That's super important, and I know you'll make God proud. Thanks, Jay. Oh, thanks, Jada.
Well, hello kids, it is time for our big idea. Are you ready? Well, today's big idea is we can make peace with others. So let's say it together on the count of three. One, two, three. We can make peace with others. Great job. And remember that no matter what happens, making peace with others is always possible. Thank you so much for watching Grow TV. We will see you next time. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow